today, right now, you have more power at your fingertips than entire generations that came before you. Think about that. That's what technology really is. It's possibility, it's adaptability, it's capability. But in the end, it's only a tool. What's a hammer without a person who swings it? It's not about what technology can do, it's about what you can do with it. You're the voice, and it's the microphone. When you're the artist, it's the paintbrush. We are living in the future we always dreamed of. We have mixed reality that changes how we see the world and AI empowering us to change the world we see. You have more power at your fingertips than entire generations that came before you. So here's the question, what will you do with it? The future is here. It's now, it's today. The COVID-19 pandemic has forced changes to the way we work and the world of work. It's forced changes to communication and collaboration. It has sped up digital transformation in Botswana and around the world. Welcome to this BTC digital event in partnership with Microsoft, centered around digital transformation. Today, we are going to hear from Anthony Masunga, the Managing Director of BTC, and Aldo Van Tonda from Dynamics Africa. And we will end this event with Aldrin Savako, the Chief Operating Officer of BTC. The event will be 35 minutes long from start to finish, and we hope you enjoy participating. Please feel free to drop us a question or comment via the question panel, and we will be sure to get back to you soon after the event or shortly thereafter. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to BTC. Welcome to the world of technology, uh, the world of digital transformation in Botswana. We are quite honored to have you with us today. This is really a momentous occasion at BTC because we are officially uh, launching our relationship with, with Microsoft. Let me just take you back a little bit. Um, as BTC, we really have been quite bullish about our agenda. Uh, our agenda has always been around investment on the network so that we position our company for digital transformation. And by and large, we have done that. Uh, we've got a great network in terms of uh, broadband technology, whether from a mobile perspective or fixed perspective. We've got a tier two data center, which hosts quite a number of applications and solutions for Botswana. So we are really positioned to take digital transformation to another level. And today, we are here to showcase our capabilities through a partner or with a partner uh, called Microsoft. We, we've been working collaboratively with, uh, with a company in South Africa called Dynamics Africa. They are a regional distributor, but we've worked with them through a program of helping us deliver Microsoft digital solutions to the market. And because we do have some technology at the at the at the Khaleview data center, uh, which is cloud-based basically, so we could easily integrate into mas, ma, uh, Microsoft's philosophy of building cloud uh, technologies throughout the world. So we are quite excited about this opportunity, and this opportunity comes uh, during what I would say difficult times, yet great times, in the sense that. Um, COVID-19 really was quite disruptive, or it still is disruptive to the way we do business. But it has created what people call the, the, the new normal, and everyone is going digital. And uh, as BTC, because we've been making the right investment decisions, we are even better positioned to actually help the country navigate this whole 
uh, landscape of delivering digital solutions. So we really want to build solutions that enable our customers to live connected. And we are ready. Um, this partnership is quite new, off the shelf. We are officially a Microsoft Cloud Services Provider. And through this partnership, we are able to work with you, our enterprise customers, or small businesses, or small office that you have at home, basically to leverage on Microsoft uh, our technology. And the technology could be maybe your tried and tested Microsoft Office suite of applications or cloud-based solutions through Microsoft's Azure technology. So we, we quite bullish about this arrangement. And you, we all know that one of the most popular tools to date is uh, Microsoft Teams, the video conferencing application that comes through, through Microsoft, which was put to the test during this COVID-19 uh, period where people now were working from home and offices had to migrate to, to home and, 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 and what have you. So we are quite happy and uh, excited about this journey. And um, in the next uh, three sessions, basically three speakers will be speaking after me to actually take you through the different levels of technology. But I can assure you that um, the rest of the BTC team is ready to help you out. Uh, if you need any information, any piece of information, you can just send an email to our sales team at sales at btc.bw. Or if you want to enter into a technical discussion, the COO will be speaking, Mr. Aldrin Sevago, towards the end. And there's a gentleman also by the name of Nelson Desang, who is responsible for the technology, the, the IT side of the technology. They are more than ready to enter into technical conversations to yourself, with yourselves. With that, I'd like you to join us on our great journey as we turn 40. This is the real turning point in terms of taking digital transformation to an, another level. As BTC, we believe that we are in it for the, the long haul and we really want to transform our economy. And we've been doing that for the past 40 years. With that, I thank you and I believe that you'll enjoy the three sessions that are coming through just after me and uh, have yourselves a great day. Thank you. Hi there. My name is Aldo Fantonda. I'm the Chief Digital Officer for Dynamics Africa and really, really excited to be here with you today to share with you some of the great stories around Microsoft technology and this exciting journey that BTC is on. Dynamics Africa is the partner that was selected by BTC to take you, the consumer or the business on a really, really exciting journey. A journey of transformation, a journey of discovery, a journey of how technology can actually change businesses. I think we can all realize that over the last couple of months, the world has changed. We know that with the COVID pandemic that has hit the world, people have had to look at things very differently. It has been very tough. There's been a lot of lives lost, but businesses specifically is taking strain. People have been talking about transformation for many, many months and years before this. Unfortunately, now to stay in the game and to still stay ahead of the pack, people need to consider how do they start doing it now. So why Microsoft? I have been a great supporter of Microsoft for many, many years in businesses for the simple reason that they are a good disruptor. COVID has been a bad disruptor. I think we all can accept that. But the good disruption is that they actually challenge businesses. They provide tools. They provide platforms. They provide the ability for people to actually utilize it in their businesses that actually can make a difference. As I mentioned, as a strategic partner for BTC, we are going to help them on the journey. We are going to support them and we are gonna enable them to be able to give the best of this new technology set for you, the end consumer or the business. When we talk about transformation, I think everyone has got their own meaning to what it actually means to a business and to a person. Let's take the example of BTC. They have been your trusted customer, partner, or service provider that has been giving you your device, your line, your data, your connectivity, and in many other business services. Now you can get an all-inclusive, all of the Microsoft offerings will now be available for you to do as well. And let's explore that a little bit. Why is that important? So there's three clouds 
that we talk about in the Microsoft world. The one being the platform cloud or Microsoft Azure, the one being the productivity or the modern workplace, which is your Office 365, your Windows desktop environment, and the third one being the Dynamics leg, being the business systems. From now, you'll be able to get all of these services through BTC. They have pre-created offers for the consumer, for the businesses, that now is available for you to be able to actually leverage these capabilities through your trusted provider being BTC. Now, if we look at a business or an enterprise, how do we approach this transformation that everyone is talking about? Transformation, I think, means so many things to so many people because it depends on your interpretation thereof. My definition of it is actually very simple. How do you survive in a digital economy? We know that nowadays we can't really meet with people anymore. We can't have meetings around a table. Look how we're interacting now. It is very different for us from the way that we used to do things. And unfortunately, I think most people believe that this is going to be the norm moving forward. We have to let technology work for us. But more importantly, it is not to the disbenefit or detriment of our people, because people need to make technology work. There's great people at BTC. There's great people in the Microsoft world that can actually help you on this journey. So these journeys that we talk about is a very important aspect. We take a journey of transformation through discovery. We need to understand what have you got? How does your environment look? How can we add value to that organization? And with the support of BTC, there's quite a few and a number of offerings that you'll be able to get access to very soon. One of them is understanding the landscape of your environment. In other words, to take a transformational journey, we need to understand what is there. We need to evaluate what is there. We need to see is there value that you can get as an end consumer or business of this environment. We need to help you plan a roadmap. We need to help you put a path together to transformation. And if all goes well, all of this is continuously going to add value. We talk about a value pyramid, the foundational initiatives that you need to have as an organization. Then we start looking at value added initiatives. And in a perfect world, the foundation unlocks so much value that it actually starts paying for the value added initiatives. And then we start looking at strategic initiatives specific to the industry that you're in or to you as the end consumer. We know that the future is about data. And this is not airtime data. Data is understanding all of the information in your business, the ability to utilize that data, to add more value to your customers. Businesses that are doing this is the ones that are gonna survive in the future. Understanding the needs before the need arises. To be able to do that, you need to understand a business environment. You need to understand your customer's environment. So whether you're a consumer of a service or whether you're a business that is providing a service, these are the things that are really important for you to consider. BTC can now help you. They can help you through a multitude of different assessments. Assessments is understanding how your business landscape looks, and it's broken down into a couple of core fundamental components. First one, infrastructure. You've got a lot of legacy service potentially sitting there. Infrastructure, server rooms, a lot of expense sitting there where people are connecting to. What you're now starting to realize is that potentially my people aren't necessarily utilizing it anymore. They're on home. I don't have all the necessary security components in for people to securely connect into my business, but I still want to expose those services to them. So understanding what your infrastructure landscape looks like, understanding what your licensing models looks like, a optimized path can be given to you. Understanding the environment, doing an assessment in a consultative approach with you to seize their business benefit to create a future optimized state. Simple example, you might still be doing backups on tape. Very costly, archaic, very dangerous, and if you can't get to the office due to the lockdown to go and restore a backup, how are you going to do it? So there's cloud services where you can seamlessly, as an example, start storing your backups within uh, Azure and leverage those services 
more cost effectively, much safer for your business, and start almost dipping your toes into what this cloud world can actually offer you. So those examples of some of the potential benefits from infrastructure. The second environment is typically your SQL or your data environment. You might have a massive SQL landscape within your business. You might store a tremendous amount of data. How do you actually consolidate that? Do you know that your databases are actually running optimally? Are you employing a lot of database administrators that actually needs to look at this data, that actually needs to continuously look and try and predict when things are gonna go wrong, where you can actually extract more value from them as people by doing alternative services and let the technology help drive some of this. So SQL assessments and data assessments is also an offering that is now available to you. But what about the most important one, our people? Imagine if we can know how people are utilizing the tools that we're giving them. Are they all communicating just on email? Do they actually use communications like Skype or Teams to chat, to have video conferencing, to have meetings? If we can start seeing the behavior of people and how they're utilizing the tools, it will make it a lot easier to plan what tools do I need? Because I either have tools that is not being utilized or I have products and tools that I might need or I don't actually know I have and can actually add more value to an organization. So those are three key assessments that BTC can actually do for you as a business to understand how your environment works, how you can get better benefit out of it, and ultimately to start this journey of transformation that in all reality, all businesses now have to consider. Because if you don't, you might not have a business very soon. Let's explore a little bit more around this journey of assessments. Typically, there is three assessments that I said that is available. There is a multitude of others as well, potentially, but these are the three that we believe initially adds a tremendous amount of value. Things like Azure cost optimization. How do I control all of this cloud services in a really good, repeatable way, in a way that is visual to me, and in a way that I know I can actually manage and realize these cost savings that cloud can actually bring to you. These are some of the um, other assessments. Security, the ability to do contract optimization, and a multitude of others. So how does this journey start? We start with a cloud migration. Let's understand what services I can leverage off cloud, whether it be in Office 365 or Microsoft 365 or in Azure itself. And if I think about it, have you got email on your phone? You've been actually using a cloud service for how long? And don't say it's new to you. You have been using it for a long time. So these are services. Cloud doesn't just mean picking up stuff and putting it in someone else's data center. Cloud means leveraging cost-effective, hyperscale services that can actually benefit your business. We start with cloud transformation. We look at infrastructure. We look at SQL. Then we start looking at how do people work better? How can I optimize my operations in my business better? How can I ultimately optimize the processes within my business? And let's explore that for a second. What is a process? A process has got an input, an action, and an output. So if I can automate some of these processes, or I can cut down on some of the actions, I can create more efficiencies in my business. As an example, if I've got a repeatable task that is being done 100 times a day and takes two minutes to do, if I can automate some of the steps in there, as an example, to bring the two minutes down to one minute, I'm saving 50% of the effort of that process. So I can either realize the saving on that process or I can double the output and now perform double the amount of processes that I have to. And these are things that you have to take into consideration. There's a lot of aspects around a business where cloud, cloud services supported by Microsoft can help you. It is important that you understand what you have draw the path to where you want to go and start getting small, quick wins. You're not going to transform overnight. You're not going to pick up all your stuff and all of a sudden run everything in cloud. 
the value you're going to get is quick wins, rapid deployment, use the gains to continuously improve yourself. And that is what BTC can offer you right now. So hopefully you are now informed, you know what is available, you know what BTC can offer you now, and hopefully you're starting to get a little bit excited about, hey, maybe this is something I can benefit from. So what do we do now? We wanna show you a practical example of what some of this information could look like. Something that you would see now is, what does my infrastructure landscape look like? How many servers do I have? Are they ready for cloud? What is the different versions that I have? Let's look as an example at SQL. When did support for certain SQL versions actually stop? This puts my business in big, big risk. I need to consider how do I consolidate all of this information that you can now get access to. Let's look at our people. Are people utilizing the tools that is available to them? Is everyone in my business utilizing what I've invested in these tools for them to use? Or are people not utilizing the products and the tools that I give them? How are people communicating? How are they collaborating? Are we communicating on email? Or are we collaborating in a way that adds value to the business? Mobility, are people connecting through multiple mobile devices? How can I support them? How can I secure them and secure my environment? Do you know what? Microsoft can help you with all of that. The Microsoft Technologies is by far the most secure, superior, and scalable components that is out there. BTC, your partner of choice, can help you on this journey. I thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Amin Azab and I am the Microsoft Partner Director for MC, one of the subsidiaries of Middle East and Africa and of which Botswana is part of. We are very excited about this partnership with Botswana Telecommunications Company and Dynamics Africa and we are looking forward to a great and exciting journey together. COVID has really disturbed the way we all live and has accelerated the use of digital in our lives. The mission of Microsoft is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. And this mission really complements well the mission of BTC, providing superior customer experience through innovative communication solutions. This partnership will extend the existing value-added services provided by BTC to include technology services that fuel and empower BTC customers. With the power of the three clouds, Microsoft provides a very strong and secure technology platform that addresses the business needs of any type of organization, of any size, and operating in any industry. In addition, we are very customer-centric, putting the business of our customer at core of our discussion. This discussion with our customers revolves around four strategic pillars. Engaging your customers to better serve them, empowering your employees to collaborate better and, more, and be more productive, optimizing your operations to be more efficient and effective, and transforming your products and business models. Now, during COVID time, and we believe post-COVID time, we've seen a lot of customers changing the way they're serving their customers, going, going online or mobile. We've seen customers think about how can they empower their employees by, you know, while they're working remotely from work. And there are many, many, many scenarios. At the core of all the pillars is data, which is becoming an important currency in the era of digital. It's not the ability to obtain the data, but the ability to analyze it, understand it, and knowledgeable enough to make the right decision in the right time. This makes all the difference between one organization and another. Microsoft Cloud is empowering organizations around the world to make that difference. Connectivity and data are core, core pillars of the cloud. BTC has been serving their customers with best quality communication services. This explains that this potential of this partnership could provide to the customer of BTC, but also to the bigger market of Botswana, serving all the types of customers in the market, consumers, students, schools, businesses, and government. Because we are a partner-led organization, not only will we work with BTC closely on ensuring that their team is always skilled up and up to date with the latest technologies and ready to serve their customers in the way, in the best way. But also, BTC will have access to the biggest network of partners 
that are developing the best of breed solutions and providing the best services and ready to serve the Botswana market. Thank you very much for the partnership and looking for a great collaboration and driving impact in the market. In conclusion, uh, let me now take this time to talk to you about BTC service offerings, specifically around Microsoft 365 and cloud services that we have on offer. If you have any question or an inquiry that you want to send to us, please don't hesitate. Send an email to us or contact us through the question panel on this digital uh, event. Uh, many of you probably know BTC as a traditional telephone company. But we have since transitioned now into providing over and above traditional telecommunication services we now provide digital services, IT services, and collaboration solutions. And this is why we are entering into this partnership with Microsoft, so that we provide these services to you as customers with on-site support backed by Microsoft. I'm going to talk to you about two propositions that we offer as BTC to our customers, specifically enterprise customers. The first proposition is our digital services consulting. This is where we come into your environment and we do a comprehensive audit of your infrastructure, of your network and systems. And once we do this audit, it will then inform us on the specific requirements that you need as an enterprise. And this could mean requirements that individuals, users within the enterprise requires from a licenses point of view, from bandwidth point of view. Many customers that we have observed so far have oversubscribed for licenses that they don't need. In actual fact, research has shown that there is 50 to 60 percent of wastage of licenses and services that are bought but are not consumed because of oversubscription. So this is where we come in as BTC to help you optimize your investment so that there is value for money. When we come into your environment, we use our assessment tools to assess the environment. And using these assessment tools, we can help you optimize your investment into the future. And many of, you, of our customers and many customers uh, out there, you might be consuming uh, licenses out of your enterprise um, agreements with Microsoft. And you might be paying more than you need to pay. And this is where now, you know, working with BTC, subscribing through BTC, we can reduce your costs. The other service that I would want to talk to you about is our end-to-end -end service offering. With our end-to-end -end service offering as BTC, we, be, we have become a one-stop shop to allow you to buy all your digital services, all your broadband connectivity, through BTC. Now, today as we speak, we know and understand that most customers require uh, to access services online or even work from home. This requires reliable broadband connectivity. As BTC, we offer high-speed broadband connectivity to help you connect from where you are anywhere in the country. So, as a one-stop shop, if you need to buy Microsoft solutions, we can, you can add your broadband connectivity to that so that it becomes a single offer. Because most companies, they don't want to deal with multiple service providers, especially when they have to pay their invoices at the end of the month. 
And obviously that comes, for us, it comes with cost effectiveness. Because once we bundle your services, it becomes less costly. I will give you an example. For just 55 Pula, you can buy from us storage capacity of one terabyte. And for just 515 Pula, you can buy a domain name, registration of domain and hosting of the domain in our data center facility. This makes life easier for any enterprise that wants to transform its business. We know today that most companies are pushing for digital transformation to try and optimize their environment, to try and reduce their costs. This is where we come in to help you realize that. The other service that we want to offer, we are offering as BTC is security as a service. Security as a service allows you to secure your environment, to secure your connectivity without the need of a physical firewall hardware at your premises because we offer it right at our data center. It is an important service today, especially when there is this rampant cyber crime and cyber threats that are happening globally because all businesses want their transactions to be secure. They want that digital trust. And this is why we, have, we are offering this as a service to our, to our customers. Finally, as BTC, we will be introducing in the near future new services, advanced services such as Microsoft Azure. This is one powerful solution, powerful platform that is going to help customers, especially if they want to go into data analytics. They want to do um, other services that require high-speed high computing. So Microsoft Azure is actually a cloud computing platform, and it will help people who want to develop solutions so that they have some development environment that they can use to develop anything that they want without the need for them to have to buy high and expensive servers. If you have any questions as we carry on with this discussion, please feel free to send your questions or your inquiry to sales at btc.bw, sales at btc.bw. Or you can throw in your question through the digital platform that we, we are presenting on today. So just feel free to throw in your questions there and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.